Hey guys, today I wanted to quickly talk about string interpolation. So in the past, if you wanted to put some data into a string, you might have done something like this, where we have some data and we use this dot dot operator to concatenate something with a string, right? So say we have this string here, we say, hello, want to buy my Apple for $5,000, right? And I created this sum data table to represent some variables that we can change in our string here. So if we print out my string, uh, we should see that it says, hello, want to buy my golden apple for $5,000. And so then it comes out in the console right there. <clears throat> and uh, there's some issues with this in that if we pass in uh, some things that can't can concatenate with strings, uh, we're not going to get a good output string, uh, as well as this is just kind of messy. If we want to change the order of things we got to move these dot dots around and it can get kind of gross so an alternative you might do is you might use string.format right and some of you might be doing this right now where we say percent s uh, to buy my percent s for percent d dollars and some data that cost and so string.format is a much cleaner version here where we can move around these identifiers here. So this is the first string, uh, this is the second string, and then this is a decimal, or a, sorry, a digit, a number, which is cost here. And so you might be using this um, to format your strings, and we should see that we should get the same result from this as well, where uh, we're plugging in, so percent %s means string, and so we're plugging this string into this one, this string into this one, and this uh, digit into here. And so we should get the same output from that, right? But let's say we accidentally leave out um, one of these and we only have two, right? It's gonna throw an error because we're missing some arguments in there. So if we have one of our arguments that doesn't match the proper type that we've specified in our string format, uh, it's not gonna properly output. So now let's talk about the new way that you might wanna do it. And this is using string interpolation. So to use string interpolation, notice I'm using single quotes here instead of double quotes. So we'll start by saying some data dot reading, and we'll encase that in curly braces, right? And then we'll say, want to buy my some data dot item. Or is it? Oh, never mind. It's not. Uh, I got that wrong. It's not single quotes. It is uh, tildes or uh, these these single uh, single backwards quotes. And that's the key that is going to be above your escape key or below your escape key uh, with the little squiggly line, which it's going to be with this uh, character here, the tilde. So anyway, the backward single quote here is going to define that we're using string interpolation here. And you'll notice that it went from green to uh, this like formatted text. So that shows that we're using the variable in between these curly braces. And you'll notice that that was pretty easy because this string reads like this string but it was a lot easier to type out and we don't have to deal with moving around these dot dots and it doesn't um, extend across multiple lines and it doesn't look as gross, right? It just looks in line. Oops. And so if we print my string three, it should be exactly the same as one and two. So why would we use this over uh, this method or this method, uh, the format or the double dot concatenation? So in this format, notice when we did the uh, string format earlier, if we had nil for one of these values, so let's say I set cost to nil up here in the table. So we're gonna get an error here for my string one, and we're gonna get an error here for my string two. So we're gonna get down to my string three, and boom, it's gonna work. So that is, that's really the safety of string concatenation is that you have a nil value that you're trying to concatenate with a string, typically Lua won't let you do that. 
But here, when we use string concatenation, it's a lot safer because it'll take the exact um, two string value that it is, which is this nil, and it'll insert it into the string right here. Okay, guys, that was a really quick tutorial on string interpolation. If you enjoyed a shorter tutorial like this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, just a reminder, I have a community Discord server where you can hop in, join, ask questions. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody have a good day.